status of the RV. Why is all the news so full of, wow, lately? Just when you think it's going to be a boring week, out pops yet more, wow, news. I want to ask everyone something today. Are you dancing yet over all this good news? Can you see just how close Iraq is to fulling al Sadani's promise of making the dinar a proud national currency once again? Also remember too that he did say it was valued over a dollar already and not that it would be. When will we see tangible evidence of this promise? In today's news we have three main articles. Below I will try to explain the significance of each of them to you. No. The RV has not yet happened and so as I keep having to reiterate to all you date and rate fans, this blog is not about a date and a rate. If you are looking for this kind of information then please go to the TNT Super Fantastic Idiotic Garbage Conference call and you can get all the lies, frustration and roller coaster rides you want. However, if you want truthful, honesty and a desire to follow the news that will lead us to a the ultimate timing of the reinstatement of the dinar back to Forex, then you are on the right blog. Remember as I have told you many times already, this journey is not about coming to the final stop on our choo-choo ride as by then it's over and we know it has to happen. Why lie about it? But instead it is all about the ride itself as this is the journey. Yes, the ride is the journey and it will lead us to the final destination not the other way around. The RV is going to happen as it has to happen and I don't know why many worry about this fact so much. We can lie and pretend about the news but it won't make any difference and bring the reinstatement any faster. So, before I get into explaining the significance of these three articles for today let me talk about my most recent conversation with my CBI contact on Saturday. Most of the talk was all about the parallel market again and the final push to stabilize it. This is related to two of these articles today. I was told this was the holdup for the start of the project to delete the zeros and the formal education of the process, which was already supposed to begin in April. I was told that the committee has already released some educational materials on the future float and so we witnessed this information last week come out. If you want to recall my own perspective on this issue, remember that I did say that most likely nothing will happen until June or shortly thereafter. After reading the articles in today's news you should be able to clearly understand why I have been saying this. Let's all just sit and watch what happens. The progress Iraq is now making is at lighting speed under al Sadani, and we can clearly see God's hand is at work, answering our prayers in this matter. It is strange how God works you can hardly ever figure it out until it happens. I encourage everyone to continue to listen to the modern day prophets. By now you all should know the ones I trust as they have a proven record of honesty already. Do you have any to share? Many of the prophets are now talking about the end of Joe Biden before even November, in fact the death of him. Does God mean literal death or just political death? So, you see this is what I mean. However, to me either way would be just fine, the world would be much better off without people like him. He is not a creator but a destroyer. He brings only death, misery and destruction in everything he touches. Oh, isn't this satanic?